very warm greetings to all the viewers today's micro mantra is significance of metabolic regulation i am your micro wizard dr dhruvil brambat working as an assistant professor in department of microbiology in lg institute of applied sciences so metabolism is nothing but a summation of anabolism and catabolism for cellular process metabolism is very essential each cell requires some or the other amount of energy to perform and to sustain themselves before we begin let's understand the nature of metabolism so there are three major purposes of metabolism first cellular energy second synthesis of biomolecule and third elimination of waste for cellular energy food is converted into cellular processes through metabolic reactions and through set of chemical reactions cellular energy is carried out synthesis of biomolecules again food energy or fuel synthesized reaction performs and synthesizes multiple metabolic reactions and it generates variety of biomolecules that is synthesis of carbohydrates proteins lipids vitamins and many more and finally metabolism will generate excess amount of waste that waste needs to be eliminated out of the system whether it being a prokaryotic cell or a eukaryotic cell now how are these metabolic reactions carried so they are carried by a specific enzyme which regulates a metabolic pathways so basically metabolic pathways are responsible for carrying out various metabolic processes in each cell and these metabolic pathways are regulated by specific enzymes a set of biochemical reactions enables a cell for sustainability and reproducibility so enzyme catalyzed reactions allow organisms to grow and reproduce to maintain their structures and respond to a variety of diverse environments so we can say that enzymes are crucial to metabolism because they allow organisms to drive desirable energy and coupling them to spontaneous reactions it not only does the following functions but it also differentiates between poisonous and nutritious components such as for example h2s which is poisonous for many eukaryotic organisms but it acts as a nutrient for some prokaryotic bacteria it also provides a striking similarity between basic metabolic pathways among diverse group of creatures in the environment so let's look upon the significance of metabolic regulation the first significance of metabolic regulation is it keeps all the cell components in proper balance and conserves energy and material so to simplify that with an example let's say e coli cell is grown in just a simple medium such as nutrient agar medium now when a nutrient agar medium is supplemented with glucose the organisms will utilize glucose and will be able to synthesize all the essential components that are required for the metabolism of glucose if tryptophan as an amino acid is added into the medium then e coli which is able to synthesize tryptophan will stop producing tryptophan through end product inhibition now this happens because tryptophan is already provided into the medium and therefore cell signals the metabolic pathway to stop producing or synthesizing tryptophan Similarly if option is given of lactose and glucose then an organism will first choose glucose because it is easily degradable for the organisms like for example in the dioxin growth curve which we have already studied once the glucose is completely utilized the organism will then opt for a slightly complex form of sugar which is a disaccharide here it is lactose so a cell will signal different metabolic pathways different regulation different metabolic pathways and it will respond according to the environment the second significance is monitoring of internal and external conditions and responding accordingly so response depends on the activation and inactivation of enzymes and pathways so here you can see diverse group of pathways that are functioning in the cell 
itself will undergo variety of metabolic pathways and as we have already previously discussed that these metabolic pathways are regulated by none other than specific enzymes so existence of specific enzymes and functions of specific enzymes regulate these metabolic pathways when one such enzyme is activated a particular chemical reaction is catalyzed it is important for us to know that enzymes just perform catalytic reactions which means that they act as a catalyst they do not initiate the reaction they just allow a better performance of that reaction similarly inactivation of a particular enzyme will lead to inhibition or formation of certain by products or alternate products which are non essential for the cell the third and the final significance of metabolic regulation is that various metabolic pathways that are regulated are regulated in three major ways so the first way is metabolic channeling each of these cellular reactions each of these metabolic functions are performed in a cell at variety of locations at diverse locations one of the major metabolic channeling occurs through compartmentalization so each function each metabolic reaction occurs simultaneously they perform various reactions they require variety of reducing powers and they require variety of energy components at the same time and so to perform this particular reaction smoothly and sufficiently compartmentation is done which is through metabolic channel the second way is through regulation of amount of synthesis of a particular enzyme how much of the amount how much amount of the enzyme needs to be prepared and how much enzyme will be required for performance of a particular chemical reaction that is important for example transcription and translation is regulated regulation is relatively slow but it saves the cell considerable energy and raw material and third direct simulation or inhibition of activity of critical enzymes is very essential regulation rapidly alters the pathway specifically post translational regulation because it occurs after enzyme has been synthesized so to summarize let's just say that metabolism is very important and these metabolic reactions that are essential for cell survival and maintenance is carried by metabolic pathways the metabolic pathways are regulated by specific enzymes so to summarize this topic of significance of metabolic regulation we can just say it in three words that metabolism which is a process of building up and breaking up is carried out in each and every cell and that each and every cell requires specific amount of pathways to regulate these metabolic cycles and these metabolic cycles are regulated by functioning of specific enzymes so here i conclude this video tutorial i hope you might have understood the basic concept of significance of metabolic regulation through concluding remark i would just like to say that in the history of evolution we have studied that life escape all barriers that life breaks free life expands to new territories painfully perhaps even dangerously but life finds a way and cell finds a way too so here i conclude this session i hope you would have enjoyed this small uh, video tutorial on significance of metabolic regulation thank you